welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to match two or more grids to have uh, one grid so that you can able to extract your area of interest so i have three grids that we are going to match let's go to the data sheet so this is the aeromagnetic service specifications of the sheet we have three sheets let's go to straight down we have three sheets we are using here. Yeah, this is sheet 8, 80, 103, and 104. So we can see how we can match these three sheets to get one. And the three sheets need to be adjacent to each other. Does it maybe one at the top, one at the bottom, or one at the left, one on the right, left, right, up, down. So there will be no space between the two, between the grids. I'm saying if we take a, take the grids we are using, we are using grid 80, 103, and 104. So we want to match this three in order to have a, our combined grids so that we can able to extract our area of interest. We have grid 80 on top of 103, then 104. So we are going to match this three. So we start with 80 then we append the grid 103 to 80 then the result will not append 104 to that result so that's what we are going to do we start with 80 then we append 103 then we append 104 so we have the three grids combined together from which you are able to extract your area of interest so make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end because missing one step in the video actually leads to problem in your final uh, result so make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end so let me open uh, as montage software so here is it so let's go to our grids and then um, one more important thing make sure that all your grids are in uh, lat long as you can see i tm i 80 ll that is longitude latitude select open And click then open the next two grids we are using three then 103 then the other one we have uh, the last one which is 104 yeah is it so we have these three grids you can see down here on this status bar and long and latitude to make sure that you reproject the grids and in the lat and long the same thing with all the other ones at long same thing here down here you can see so what after you have reproject the grids do the geographic coordinates longitude and latitude then we need to take each of the grid let me start with 80 is selected you can see it's already colored black then we move to grid and images utilities save grid to database then we input our grid file which is 80 here yeah. in the new database we call it tmi 80 then the database to channelize our tmi we call it z then leave everything the way it is click ok this for some few seconds and here is it so of course we have the longitude we have the latitude then the magnetic intensity in nano tesla so like that is better for us to put as well into let's say into four decimal place right click then decimal let's put it three same thing here we can right click let's change the decimal place to three the same thing with the intensity no there is no need we can leave it then we'll move to the other grid 104 here we have we do the same thing grid image grid and image utilities save grid to database and this time around we need to change this and give it a name tmi 104 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we put the grip is uh, one o. We are looking at one o four. Then we name this as one o four our database. Then we we'll leave everything the way it is. Click OK. Same to do a right click, change this to three decimal place. Also the same thing here to three places of decimals. Click OK. Um, lastly, grid an, grid an image utilities, save grid to database, then select grid 103, Na give it a name 1, GMI 103, leave everything the way it is, click OK. Change the longitude to three places of decimals. the latitude into also three places of decimals so that we have enough uh, data to work with so now these are the three grids that we have we're going to now match like i said the first step is to reproject the grids into lat longitude latitude the next is to save each of the grid to their respective database so now we are going to match the tree let's start with the first one which is 80 because we have the three database you can see 80 tmi 80 tmi 104 103 now let's take that image back so we are going to append one grid 103 to one to 80. so we'll go to database tools database utilities let me take it again database to database utilities match database then now database to modify so this is very important so we start with 80 you cannot start from this modify this we have to follow a particular pattern start with 80 we want to modify 80 because this one is just extending this down so we take 103 and then append it to 80 then that will increase more values then we take the result and, and append 104 to that result so when we append 103 to 80 then this grease will get expanded become longer in height as you can see the same width but longer in height then the same thing we do to that we do this append this to the result then we also try to expand it so that we now have the shape like this so the grid we're going to actually modify is 80 which is at the top and database to modify but to my database to match which is 103 okay. for this is not 104 Let's choose 103 because this is just below exactly below this so you choose this so you say 80 and you add up you, you, you the database to modify will be 103 and leave the groups every single thing down here you move here and now say append because we are appending because they are adjacent to each other adjacent to each other that's why we do that then t103 then click ok wait for some few seconds now you can know we have here if we double click on the database 80 which now has get modified for us to check whether it has been expanded let's click on grid grid and image then gridding minimum curvature then the channel to grid z we want to grid this then the output grid let me call it tmi at103 then click ok So let wait for some few seconds or minutes to grid these two sheets.
so you can see here is it this is the two grades this is 80 and this is 103 has been much compared to when we look at 103 so this you can see this is 80 and this is the combine which you cannot see so now uh, let's go back to now we have done a pen we have matched the two then now we are going to match to add 104 to that result so we'll do the similar process grid and image uh, database tools database utilities match database then now we select 80 we are still 80 has been get because 10103 has been modified and add to that of 80 so database to match we select 104 this time around they will leave append it then click ok wait for some few minutes seconds so we have see we have that was done then let's go to database 80 click on it it's open then say grid and image grading minimum curvature then z then we'll call this one 80 match 8104 now we have three sheet match TMI 80 103 104 then click OK so wait for some few minutes seconds depending on the speed of your computer so this will now give us our three match sheets 80 103 and 104 So you can see that is it you can see this are three this is 80 103 104 and this actually is the match grid with this you are able to carry out your analysis spectral analysis reduction to the pole residual magnetic fields Euler decomposition this is this so you can do the same TV if you are going to have four grids if you are going to have four grids, for example, if you are going to have four grids, you follow the same way. You leave 80, then you keep on appending the next sheet. So that is how to match magnetic sheets. You can match two, three, four, etc. etc. That is how it is. If you are going to match three, you, you, you take the second, append it to the first, then take the third one, append it to the, fir the first. Take the fourth one, append it to the first. Take the sixth one, append it to the then go to the first one and then grid. And that is how to match uh, two or more sheets, two or more uh, magnetic sheets to have a single sheet. So you can see the very big sheet. This point on to this point here is 80, and this is 103, and this is 103. This is how to match it. So this will now be our final TMI. Uh, great where you can either you can go with all of it or you can window that is take your area of interest by going to grid and image and utilities then we'll look at window a grid so this box will pop up you can select that grid we have named it 81034 the output grid maybe call it your final tmi then we have x mean and x max so this x mean is your minimum longitude and the uh, x max is the maximum that is to say the longitude will be air the minimum the smallest and the, and the largest the uh, that of the minimum latitude and the maximum latitude the moment you import these values air and it should be in degrees then from there you click ok that will actually gives you the the region of interest where you want to carry out the search because sometimes you can use all of the sheet or you can just focus on part of the sheet where you want to do it 
So that is another way of actually doing or sometimes if you don't know the coordinate but you know actually where the area is so you can click on interactive in that interactive what you now see is a define a grid using a mouse cursor so what you do you you hold and drag this is the region you can take for example you drag and take this particular region for example here and let it go now it automatically picks out the minimum longitude the maximum longitude the minimum uh, latitude the maximum latitude and click ok that's how to do it so let me click cancel so this is how to match two or more magnetic sheets so if you have any question please drop it drop them down in the comment section below thank you and see you in another video